Hello guys. Making a video here on how to switch out your heater your heater blender motors on your 2005 through through uh, 2009 Range Rover Sport. Um, these are very you have to do a lot to get to them um, and I'll explain why. Starting off here with the center console of where your shifter is and uh, your your refrigerator in the center. Uh, you have to take your your side fascias off. Okay, we have to take this off right here, or the little drawer for the the cup holders and all that off. You have to pull that out, and this is where your um, refrigerator is because here's the lid. Okay, and after you take that off, you have to take off your radio that was here your air conditioning unit and your CD player and the navigation system up here and after you take those out you are these bolts right here if you can see them there's a sequence of bolts that you have to take out here here and here and there and once you open it up you'll see it you know sequentially what you have to take off in here too and down over here too okay and after you take that out, there's this plastic casing that holds your radio, your air conditioning controls, and your navigation system, and etc. And it's a plastic flame casing kind of like this right here. You know, this stuff right here. Okay. But before you, you take this off, you have to unbolt all of this unit right here. You see how I'm shaking it? You have to unbolt all this, okay. So you take out your refrigerator, okay, you take all this stuff out, take your fascias off here on the sides, okay, to get to these bolts down here. So you're going to have to move, slide the seat, your, your seat all the way up forward and recline the seat forward because there's a bolt on the side down here, right there somewhere, okay, on both sides here. And here, driver side and passenger side. Okay. After you do that, you have to unbolt the shifter. Okay. These bolts that go right here, on four corners, right there. And after you take that off, you have to take this saddle that the shifter uh, sits on. I don't know if you can see these bolts, right? And this hole right there, right there. Okay. So after you bolt those, you have to unbolt this because. This casing right here that holds your radio and components is under this right here. This whole length of this lip is stuck underneath here and it won't come up without this out of the way. So what you have to do is pull this up and out that way. Okay, you see? That's what I need a crutch rocket. Sorry about that guys. So what you do is you unbolt it pull it up and back out okay back out all right and then you can take this out okay this plastic casing here all right now I'm going to show you what you have to where the blend or motors are at okay <clears throat> and there's two on the passenger side two on the passenger side and there's three are two two on the on the driver's side and two three on the on the on the driver's side okay here is one okay and the third one the first one is I don't know if you can see it, it's like right here Let's see if I can focus up on it right there it is right there okay Let's see if I can get some light on there but those two right there you have to take out okay what I suggest is you um, take pictures of the arms, these white, these white arms right here, because they go a certain way, okay? Program them, range over and everything, okay? Now we're going to go to the passenger side, okay? I'll show you the other, the other two, the other three, okay? Let's go to the passenger side. All right, got a couple lights here. 
okay and right here before you get to it you have you have a little glove compartment here and then you have one here at the bottom right you have to take all that out it's all one whole unit okay the, the top glove compartment and the bottom one so you have to unbolt them from I believe here there here there there and here and down there too okay there's a lot of stuff you have to take out so you know you'll get the drift once you get to it but the other three blend door motors you can let me get the light I think I closed the light on him okay here we go the other blend door motors are right here okay here's the top one same thing on the other like the driver's side here's the bottom one okay you can kind of see it where it's at right okay let me get away that way you can see exactly what I'm talking about right there you know okay there's the dashboard glove compartment and then you get closer and you get to see both of them right there okay now the fifth one is really really tricky to get to okay you can kind of shine the light up there somewhere okay it's behind actually in this section right here underneath is um, this um, this aluminum uh, frame here okay it's the fan it's the damper that closes the air directly to the heater this is your, your air filter from the outside okay and I don't know if you can see but this is the flap it closes see that fifth one closes this damper okay and I'll show you exactly where it's at if I can get my light up in there okay. there it is right there All right, there you go see see what I'm talking about right underneath this corner here see where we're at right there okay now I'm gonna go back to where it's at okay you go underneath the glove compartment here and there it is okay and you have to take these bolts out right there okay see what I'm saying you have a little screw there another one right there so you bear you have to have a small little ratchet okay and I believe it's um a seven millimeter socket to get to that screw right there okay I hope this helps everybody because I was going crazy looking for videos and information on how to get to these but I wasn't shown very much from rolling Land Rover or anybody else on the internet okay um, what I did is I went out and bought myself some little extensions. Okay. Got me this little extension here. Okay. And I got me, um, uh, little quarter inch and, uh, three inch drives. They're called star point sockets. Let's see if you can see them right there. See what I'm talking about? Star point socket sets. Okay. And what they look like is these these are it right here okay those are the ones you want and you have sizes from I believe let's see what sizes they are uh, t50s all the way to I believe uh, t10s or something like that yeah it should say right here you know yeah it's t10 all the way to t15s okay and um, hopefully this helps you guys because uh, a lot of people have had problems with this, but they just take them to the drillers or you know, have a professional mechanic do it. But it saves you 560 to 580 dollars in just labor. The parts were only uh, I bought them at Land Rover for only 350 bucks, 360 bucks, give or take. Yeah, but uh, I just bought all five. Okay. 
these are all the same um, exactly the same motors the part numbers to Land Rover that they gave me they're all exactly the same but I don't know if they have different computer chips in them or anything like that so you're better off buying all five okay um, hopefully this helps and I hope you guys um, enjoy the video take care